Hackers are stealing from each other using the new HackBoss malware. John, an interesting name for a recent malware that you're going to talk about, HackBoss. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, yeah, thanks, Bindu. So um, this is an interesting kind of piece of malware, and thankfully, a lot of our viewers probably won't come across it, but it's interesting nonetheless to talk about. So the HackBoss malware is actually, um, it's a Trojanized application um, that is a cryptocurrency stealing malware. But the way it's being distributed is being distributed on Telegram channels, like underground uh, hacker channels. And the application itself is uh, pretending that, well, it actually is, it's got a Trojanized application that is for um, brute forcing passwords for like banking, dating, and social media accounts. So it's a hacker tool. So these hackers have decided, I'm gonna distribute another hacking tool to other hackers that I know are involved in cryptocurrency theft. So even though this malware runs as a uh, brute force password guessing type of piece of uh, you know hacking tool, um, what it does is if you know later on the other hacker who has installed this malware, if they copy a, a Bitcoin address, you know because they want to like transfer money from one place to another, uh, which is typically how people will do uh, cryptocurrency transfers with Bitcoin. It looks at the clipboard on the computer and it replaces uh, whatever the cryptocurrency address is that they're sending to, you know, when they copy it from their own with the bad, you know, the, the hack boss actors cryptocurrency address. So they send the cryptocurrency to the people who wrote this hack boss malware. Um, we've seen that with other malware, mostly targeting regular people who might use cryptocurrency regularly, so, and they know that they have a cryptocurrency wallet or something, um, and they use that same technique of kind of overwriting the clipboard with their own Bitcoin address or whatever. So, um, you know, that's kind of the setup of how this works. It's, good, it's bad guys against bad guys in a way. So the net gain, you know, I guess they're still stealing money from somebody, which is not great, but they're stealing from each other, uh, which is interesting. The um, so far, they've seen by tracking the Bitcoin activity on the cryptocurrency address tied to this malware, they've seen about $500,000 of cryptocurrency being, you know, um, exchanged as part of this hack boss malware. Uh, although they do say that not all of it is necessarily due to this particular malware family because they've been around for a couple of years now and they were uh, also distributing some other fake software. So it could be some of the gain could be from this other fake software campaign that they were doing, you know, earlier in previous years. Uh, so it's hard to tell exactly when. Um, but in any event, uh, just another kind of interesting tactic that people should be aware of. While these guys are using this technique, you know, against other hackers, it's a hacker versus hacker kind of thing. Um, as I mentioned, this technique of overwriting the clipboard with a cryptocurrency address of your own is um, you know, a technique that we've seen in other malware before uh, for cryptocurrency stealing things. And I guess the other thing to me that's interesting about it is, you know, for the past couple of years, I would say probably 80% of the stories that we cover, especially with malware, uh, you know, revolve around cryptocurrency. So it's really kind of taken over the, um, uh, you know, the mindset of a lot of these hackers that they're, they're using uh, malware for cryptocurrency theft, in, you know, in the long run here. Yeah, you know, definitely a monetized industry we see, and no one is immune, right? Even the hacking community is, you know, one of the targets of a malware. So it's interesting to see this. Right. And I've seen a lot of malware over the years that looked at the clipboard to try to, you know, steal passwords and stuff. Um, but this is, a, as you just said, a relatively new class of not just stealing the contents of the clipboard, but modifying them to try to, you know, put their own wallet ID in there and hope that no, hope that the user doesn't notice when they paste it in to, you know, wherever they're going to paste it that it wasn't what they originally. 
copied in there. So, yeah, it, security around the clipboard is is something that I, I, it's it's probably a hard problem to solve because users want the convenience to be able to copy and paste stuff. You know, between applications and between windows and so how do you protect against a malicious actor that tries to intercept that and also wants to play around in the clipboard i'm not sure i have any good ideas of how to solve that problem yeah i don't either um and you raise a good point about when you um when you're taking the cryptocurrency wallet address, it's usually a long string of characters. So it's very hard, unless you're really carefully scrutinizing what you copied and then you just paste it into another window if it's you know, changed at all. So it's really easy to you know, obfuscate it.